It's time to welcome the wine ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to the show. We are live here today on thatchannel.com, and I'd also like to welcome our listeners on the Jewel Radio Network, 88.5 in Toronto, 98.5 in Ottawa, and 107.7 in Hawkesbury. Welcome everyone to The Wine Ladies. And of course, to all of our friends and fans on Facebook, on Twitter, on thewineladies.com, thanks for following us. I just want to remind everybody, tomorrow is the day, it's the big day for our Heart of Gold Park the fundraiser for Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario taking place from 5 to 9. Bring your gold, make some cash and help provide funds for the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Make sure you go check out our website, thewineladies.com, Heart of Gold Party. It's going to be awesome. Okay, now Georgia, before we get on with today's show, we always like to toast our viewers and our listeners out there and of course our in-studio guests. So let's raise our glasses and today's toast is A Votre Santé. A Votre Santé for sure. Now what are we toasting with is a wonderful Cabernet Sauvignon from the Languedoc region in southern France. It is called Just, Just is the name of the wine and we're going to learn a little bit more about that in just a bit. Okay, well, on with today's show. Today we're going to be exploring the Languedoc region. Just perfect, just for you from the Languedoc. And the Languedoc is the largest vineyard in the world, producing some of the best value wines out there. A very hot wine has just hit our market here. So joining us to tell us all about that, we have Tom Noitzis, who's the president of Euro Vintage Wines and Spirits. Welcome, Tom, to the Wine Ladies. Well, thank you, Suzanne and Georgia. How are you today? We're I'm just good. perfect. Just into the story. <laughs> exactly. Now, while while we are discovering this fabulous region and sipping on these wonderful wines, well, naturally, you know, a girl's got to eat. We are going to be working up an appetite. <laughs> so, yes. joining us also, sommelier and chef Dina Folco Robles is here. She is also director of vintages for Euro Vintages uh, Wine and Spirits. Dina, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, we're looking forward to tasting this, these wonderful wines. They're causing such a sensation around the world. Yes, we're very pleased uh, to have launched them. It's been just now into our third, fourth week, and uh, it's an exciting time. There's a big French promotion starting in May. Yes. Uh, in, actually, at the end of this month, in, fair, in April, and we're excited uh, to be a part of it. There'll be some end aisle promotions. Mm -hmm. uh, French is back in vogue again. It is. And actually, you know, maybe we should um, give everybody a little bit of a sense of the region first, of the Languedoc region. Mm -hmm. Give everybody an idea of where it is, talk about that a little bit, and then we can move on to um, some of the changes and, and about the wine. Certainly. Well, Languedoc is the region more uh, aligned with the Mediterranean, both mm -hmm. in weather and temperature. It boasts uh, near 300 days of sunshine. Wow. So, so the wines are typically, Amazing. the reds in particular, are typically very rich and flavorsome, uh, full-bodied, full -bodied, a lot of structure certainly on the development of the wine. Uh, predominantly red wines, though they have whites, reds certainly are where they're stronger uh, in terms of styles mm -hmm. and, and grape types. Cabernet is probably the more dominant of the grapes, though Syrah is a very popular mm -hmm. Merlot, certainly a grape of the region. Uh, and then of course there's regional grapes. Right. And what we have is, uh, in, in this wine from Languedoc, from the Pay Doc, uh, uh, is, uh, again, a very well-structured, well-styled wine that's 100% pure. There isn't any mm -hmm. blending in the wine. Um, as you ladies will certainly know, uh, true varietals mm -hmm. tend to be um, complemented with other grapes to give them a little bit more in terms of structure, color, mm -hmm. uh, volume. And so, and in most countries, you're allowed to blend down to 15% or more. So, rather than making this too complicated for viewers, uh, there's a, a tendency some, sometimes to stretch that. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in the case of Just, the wines are 100% pure, 100% varietal, and that's an important part of what we're trying to, to bring to market. Uh, in terms of Langduck, uh, we've and the Pay Duck, we've seen growth 
certainly over the last uh, 10 years as uh, varietal referencing has become a big part of the world's yes. wine consumption. So mm -hmm. uh, the strength of the Languedoc is that uh, they have been the, the producer, the grower of France's wines uh, and, and quite frankly the last entrant in, in the whole uh, regional uh, designation, certainly Bordeaux and the Rhone and mm -hmm. Burgundy and, and the Loire have all pl had their place in the wine market for so many years. Yes where Languedoc has been really predominantly a grower, uh, providing mm -hmm. wines for these four or five other appellations to use in there. How many wineries are in the Languedoc? I know we said that it's the biggest growing region in terms of number of well, vines, but it, how many wineries overall well, would you say? Well, in Languedoc region, it's, um, it's mostly growers. So okay. put it this way, there's the Languedoc region actually makes more wine than all of USA, just that region. And so there's about 500, 500 growers within that region. Okay. Um, Languedoc is not, uh, Languedoc is, is a large, it's mostly vines, so that's mm -hmm. what they do is, you know, the farmers and the growers know what they're doing, they're growing great grapes. And so that's why uh, wineries throughout France are bringing grapes from there and making wines in, in mm -hmm. other regions. It's often um, bracketed as well with Roussillon, Languedoc Roussillon. Yes, is, exactly. Uh, people we, often think of them together. They are together now. Mm -hmm. um, w what happened is um, it used to be a part of Spain mm -hmm. and then France brought that on. So now it is seen as one region together. Okay. Yeah. And I do know that I, I think maybe it was Tom about, or about a decade ago, maybe a little bit longer, that actually the Languedoc Roussillon region comprised about uh, a third of all of the vineyards vineyards planted in France. Yeah. And I know they had that aggressive vine pulling out system through the European Union, I think, and now it's about a quarter, is that right, Dina, do you think? Yeah, it's about a quarter, mm -hmm. definitely, because in the 19th century we had that noble rot. I don't know if you know what that is, mm -hmm. right? It's phylloxera, of course you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so what happened was uh, they lost a lot of their vitis vinifera, mm -hmm. and then they tried to get the American um, blends in there, or, sorry, the American vines in there, and they just didn't work. Uh -huh. So now they've re redone everything with the Cabernet Sauvignon, like Tom was saying, mm -hmm. Syrah, and Chardonnay, and those are working, but they're they're European vines more so than the American vines. Uh -huh. and so the so rootstock is on European rootstock? Or is yes, still, yes, definitely. Uh -huh. The okay. American rootstock did not work at all. Mm. And so now you, you're looking at probably a one quarter, okay. I would say, guessing. Still very significant though, when you think of it, 25% of all of the vineyards in France is in when that region. Think of, even in our marketplace today, when you look at some of the big players in the market, they're really not from Languedoc. They're Burgundy, they're Bordeaux uh, players. Uh, over the years, uh, the growers have really only provided the juice. They haven't actually been the ones who've marketed or sold uh -huh. the wines. So, right. uh, so it's very difficult really to put a finger on the number of wineries, though there are uh, certainly a number of brands that are continuing to grow. Uh, Vigny Sud, which is a wine fair that was, uh, that's run in, uh, in the south of France every February and March, is certainly well attended. There's uh, a great... Uh, uh, presence given to that region mm -hmm. and the wines themselves uh, are really what what makes people stand up and take notice yes. uh, a very good concentration of fruit and uh, certainly volume which I think today people are looking for uh, we great had value someone, wines certainly yeah. yeah all right we're going to go to our first break you're okay. listening to the jewel radio network and watching the wine ladies on that channel.com for a complete podcast of the show just perfect just for you from the longa doc visit the why the that channel.com slash the wine ladies we'll write we'll be right back in just a moment don't go away Join the Wine Ladies for the Heart of Gold Party, May 6th, Clarence Spa in Yorkville, a unique fundraiser where you make money. Turn your old unwanted jewelry into cash. Experts from the Gold Smart Network will evaluate your gold, pay you cash, and make a donation to the Heart and Stroke Foundation for every dollar they pay out to you. Sample Girls' Night Out wines and Clarence Spa treatments and products. It's a private party, but you're invited. Email rsvp at thewineladies.com or register at 416-594-6533. The Wine Ladies Heart of Gold Party. May 6th, Clarence Spa. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. 
Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our girls' night out, we brought girls' night out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. Well, let the party begin. Girls' night out wines. Hugely popular. VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com.